schools and other organizations to creatively bring the ideas of the campaign to life, educating people of all ages, and building true grassroots support for the safety messages featured in the campaign. The Street Smart campaign not only generates that grassroots support for safer streets, but leverages a public health approach to road safety, emphasizing prevention over reaction and working to address potential areas of concern before injuries or fatalities occur. While I will leave uh, a lot of the local statistics to uh, some of the other speakers this morning, I do want to highlight one statistic that I think drives home the public health angle. Uh, obviously, pedestrian crashes are a tragedy for the victims and their families, um, but they impact all of us. According to the CDC, the average uh, non-fatal pedestrian injury, crash injury uh, costs about $61,000 in medical costs and an additional $131,000 in work loss costs. Applying that to New Jersey's uh, over 4,600 pedestrian injuries in 2017, the economic impact to our state in that year alone was over $887 million. The goals of this campaign are simple. We want to change behaviors to reduce crashes and prevent injuries and fatalities on our roads. We'll do that throughout the month of May and probably beyond uh, through our educational efforts, including a lot of the increased signage that you'll see around town. Uh, and we'll offer that in conjunction with high visibility enforcement uh, from the Marstown Police Department, which you'll hear about in a moment. Through programs like this, we can begin to drive down the all too high pedestrian injury and fatality rates throughout the state, because as we all know, zero is the only acceptable number. I'd now like to welcome up the Mayor of Marstown, Tim Doherty, to say a few words. Morning. So today you get pedestrian Tim. Uh, one of the things I've learned over these few years is uh, not to book my own appointments because my assistant usually has the appointment set and uh, I still haven't learned that lesson. I put, overbooked myself this morning, but I'm glad I'm here. Uh, and it's interesting on the drive down here uh, from my meeting this morning. I had at least a half dozen people get out of their cars as I was driving down South Street and try to cross instead of walking to the crosswalk. Um, it's so vitally important uh, that people like groups like Trans Options and, and Street Smart, this program, uh, is so vital to our, our downtown and our, and our community uh, based on just a few factors. One is our, our town has grown over the years, obviously since the beginning of this in 2016. But as we grow with our businesses and our residential and our walkability in our downtown, it becomes more crucial uh, that pedestrians and, and motorists both realize that we have to work together uh, to form and to uh, have a very safe community. Um, there is no time that the mayor likes to get a call that there's been a, an accident where a pedestrian has been uh, involved. And uh, I'm sure you'll hear from Sergeant LeVar the statistics if he has them. Uh, some of them, if not a, a, a certain large percentage, are actually sometimes pedestrian, pedestrian's fault. Uh, you have to be able to really look at where you're walking, use the crosswalks, get off your phones while you're walking, uh, and you have to cross an intersection that's busy. South Street is a state road with a lot of activity. Um, Morristown's downtown is growing. Uh, it continues to grow. Um, and we need to work together as a community. It's, it's organizations like Trans Options and these types of programs that help uh, build a community consensus on understanding how we move about through our, through our town. Uh, it is vitally important that uh, we rely on our law enforcement and, and our nonprofits and, and our organizations like Trans Options to get the message out and to show people that the correct way to do things and, and really Getting out of a car in the middle of the street and trying to dart across the street with a six-year-old is not the right way to do it. And I see it often. So an emphasis is going to be put on law enforcement uh, to educate the, the public. Trans Options in its program with the Streets uh, Smart Program uh, for an education process of the right and wrong way to, to move about a walkable community. Um, and it's important. And we hope that that people, we want to encourage people to understand that the safety of not just pedestrians, but motorists uh, are at hand here. So there's lots of things you'll learn about
getting off your phone as you're going through a crosswalk. Uh, watch where you're going. Use the the the, uh, the lighted signs. The, the where you're supposed to cross. Don't jaywalk. Uh, you're, you should never be in a hurry to get across the street to get to a restaurant or a store uh, or to an appointment that's going to put your life at risk. Uh, there's a lot of things I could talk about this, but as our town becomes even more walkable, it's more important that we have these type of programs uh, to educate the public and to work hand in hand with our law enforcement and our, our state agencies. And we're really happy our assemblyman's here. Um, he's taken a huge interest in, in how successful Morristown is. Not only with pedestrians and motorists, but also with cyclists. Um, Stefan Armington is here, and Billy Byrne, who's an advocate for our uh, people with uh, physical and mental disabilities, is vitally important that this message gets out to not just our, our, our motorists and, and, and people in our town, but there's a segment of our community that has disabilities, and people have to be aware of what's going on in our community. So I want to again thank Trans. Trans Options. I want to thank Atlantic Health for being here, um, and uh, and we look forward to this uh, Street Smart program, and we look forward to uh, engaging in our community, uh, pedestrians and motorists, and hopefully this will be a successful program, and we'll keep at it until, like you said, that zero that zero threshold. So thank you very much.